Okay guys, um, this is just a mini, I don't know, I guess it's like a mini haul video or, yeah, it's a mini haul video, even though I don't like doing hauls videos, I don't know why, but I, I don't really care for them. But I'm going to do one real quick because I got a hold of some neat stuff and you guys might want to see what it does or what um, what some of the differences are and some of the stuff that I bought. So yes, my scrapped area is an absolute mess right now. I'm working a million jobs and I just haven't had time to clean it so excuse the mess but there was a, a stamping convention in town so I live in Los Angeles California and the stamping convention was in Carson and these are the things that I picked up from this convention really cool convention Tim Holtz was there which was kind of awesome I believe it comes to town three times a year I think that's how that goes at the Carson Community Center there were a ton of people this is my first time going, and I was told that it isn't that well attended. However, this time there were a ton, a ton, a ton of people. So here we go. I'm going to sit down, I think, for this. Um, This is the big one. I needed to get something to bind my mini albums. Well, at least have an option of binding them with the, with the one inch, um, what do they call them, the wire binders whatever something like that and I was very confused on whether or not to buy the cinch or the bind it all turns out the zutter is the bind it all that's something that I didn't know that I found out recently once I actually bought it I like this one because here as you, you can see through the plastic it's still in the plastic I haven't used it yet obviously there are square holes right here there's square holes and I don't like round holes so that's pretty much what sold it, even though they said that this one right here is kind of more difficult to, um, it's more difficult to pull the lever, but I'm young, so, and strong, hopefully. So hopefully I won't have too much of a problem with doing that. And they said the cinch, you know, comes in all the cute colors and whatnot. And it also said that the cinch's um, wires, they come with one less... Um, ring, but it really doesn't matter to me because you just keep putting on as many as you need and then clipping them off. At least that's the way I see it now. The video that came with this does not run on anything that I have. I don't know why, but it's in some funky format. So I've watched a couple YouTube videos on how to use this machine. However, I haven't gotten a chance to use it because I just got it. I got this from, oh, I can't believe I forgot the name, but it was a show... Oh, C to C. That's where I got it from, C to C. And there, I believe, in San Diego. And it was a show special, and this is all the things that came with it. So I'm quite pleased with it, because I think it is, um, I think the machine itself cost around $85. At least that was my understanding. And so, yeah, I'm pleased with this buy here. And I have all the little clips and doodads and an album that comes with it. And it came with chipboard, as you can see. And that makes me happy. I actually need to go to Kelly Paper to go get some chipboard neon out. And that's where I think I'm going to start buying my chipboard. I like it because they come in the very large pieces and it's thin. So it's the thin one that I can cut with my Cricut. And if I want it to be a little bit more sturdy, I got the tip from Kathy at K Orta uh, Paper Phenomenon. Just layer them. Just stack them up one on top of the other. And that's a great way to get sturdy chipboard as opposed to buying the really thick chipboard that's hard to cut. And it's just too much of a hassle. What I'm holding here comes from Judykins. Judykins was there. She, Judy was actually there. So sweet. So cute. Love her store. This is a great deal. These are, let's see if I can open it with one hand. These are their mica glosses. And I got all 18 colors um, for... I think it was $90. $90. Hold on one second. Let me open it so I can show you guys one of them. Set that down. And there we are. That lets you know how prepared I was for this video, right? And here we go. It's like having a pigment. Can I get it to focus? It's like having a pigment ink and a tube. Why isn't this focusing? Come on, come on, come on. No, it's not going to do it. It comes out a kind of a creamy consistency. And they have wonderful demonstrations on YouTube. If you Actually, Judy does her demonstrations on using mica gloss on a shiny type of paper. And also matte stock, which you can do with the stamp, how far it goes, how much to use. It's kind of awesome. 
they sold me and so I bought a ton of colors I actually have some special projects in mind for this not necessarily cards not necessarily using the glossy paper I'm thinking more along the lines of wood for these and they're water soluble so I can mix them down and and hopefully do some really really neat things with them we'll see how far that goes um, if you guys are interested I'll let you know every single color that's in here because apparently I bought them all oh purple gotta love purple anytime we see purple we get excited and it's such a deep rich purple and also one of the cool things about this is that you can grab any three colors and they will always go well to each with each other they don't turn to mud so when you're watching the videos you'll be like what is she talking about but basically what you do this is my craft mat that's really gross and dirty right now but you put three drops down take a brayer brayer lift brayer lift brayer lift make a nice little pattern and basically you've created your own ink pad that was a long story short I'll have to show you guys that if that's something that you're interested in something else that I bought from Judykins was all the colors that they had in the Marvy. Why can't I get this thing to focus? I'm just, this is not my gift apparently. Marvy Matchables uh, dye based inks. It's, they're just like the Marvy pens that you can get from Michaels, but they're stamp pads. And it turns out that I don't have any dye inks other than Tim Holtz. All my inks are pigment. So I bought all of them. There's like 35 or so in here. And they're little and they're brand new and the demonstrations were absolutely to die for rubber stamps and dye ink on semi gloss matte cardstock that I mean I'm just especially along with these markers here with my Marvy markers awesome 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 demonstrations I tell you that's why you can't go to stamping conventions because they will just have you buying everything I have the thin ones um, Word on the street is that scrapbookers and paper crafters prefer the smaller skinny markers, whereas real heavy-duty stampers have the big ones. I think I have some big ones somewhere. They're just not out. And what else did I get? Oh, I know. At some point, I would like to have all of Tim Holtz's stamps. And But this one, because of Rachel or, um, on... What is it? Uh, R-A-C-H-O-113. Uh, you guys know that I love her. To death, to death, to death. She uses this so much. I had to get it. Especially looking at her bandana um, her bandana demo with the stays on inks. It's just, you, I couldn't live without it. So I went ahead and grabbed this while I was there. It Within reason, they kind of are on the expensive side. This is 30 bucks for this. Which is probably why I didn't grab every single one of them. They're kind of high. That's all there is to it. But at some point, I want to get them all. Which is why I went ahead and bought this. I have quite a few acrylic blocks. But now I know that I have every single size. And the cool thing about these is that Tim Holtz, all of his stamps fit on one of these blocks. You will never buy a stamp that does not fit on one of the blocks that comes in this set. And so I figure for the most part, except for the really, really huge ones, I'll be able to use this with everything. And they're thin, so they don't take up a ton of space. And they have the grids on them, which I like, so that I can line things up properly. And I think that's about all that I bought. Oh, that's not true. There's one more thing in here. Along with the demo that they were doing for these ink pads here, everybody was using all the, the stamp people were using stipple brushes now most of them had the huge ones that were going for seven bucks a pop and I just happened to run into the um, the color dusters and for five dollars you get four so I bought uh, quite a few packs of these so I can kind of because with your dyeing so you really want to have one for the same family but I kind of want to have one for just about every ink pad so I bought a few now where am I gonna store this who knows maybe in the in the new craft room that's being built but who knows so I think that's it if you see anything here that you're really interested in let me know and I will do further research on it I'm the research queen I try to answer all questions I get quite a few private messages about random stuff and I love it because I love to answer questions and so yeah the zetter the dye pads the stamps the color duster 
these amazing mica glosses and I guess that's it oh just a note again I don't like haul videos but I did buy these a few probably a few weeks ago these are the newly released recollections extra fine glitter they kick Martha Stewart's glitters but um, because it's such a powdery consistency it's so so much better I love it you get excellent coverage and it's kind of a, a soft glitter so if you're looking for some new glitters or a really good set grab your 50% off coupon and go on down to Michaels and get this for about 15 bucks and there are 30 pieces in this one which is I think there are a couple more than the one from Martha Stewart and that's it I can't think of anything else to tell you guys and that's probably because my scrap area is a mess a mess a mess a mess um I don't know if I talked about this I recently bought this too again I ugh, I hate that I'm like doing a haul vid but this is my um, crocodile but it has the the huge reach actually is this called a crocodile I believe it's a crocodile with the huge reach I got sick and tired of not being able to punch a hole in the center of a 12 by 12 album or 12 by 12 sheet of paper that was important to me I wanted to be able to get in and I was having a very very difficult time with the with the regular crocodile is this, is this thing called a crocodile? The big bite. It's called a big bite. Awesome machine. This right here is a little guard. You can set it for the large holes, the small holes, and to um, set your eyelets here. I think it's a good tool. It's bulky, and it's not something that you have to have if you're just starting out, but it is something that you might want to get if you're doing some mini albums and some serious eyelet punching and all that kind of stuff because it will get to the center of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper whereas I think with my crocodile I can only get about an inch in so that's it I'm not gonna look at anything else because I keep saying that's it and keep finding new stuff to kinda talk about love these just general I think I saw Arlene using these I said why, why doesn't her scissors have um, the handles I see why because these are awesome and they're really they have a micro tip and so when I say it cuts all the way to the tip, it cuts all the way to the tip. So it makes fussy cutting a lot easier. And fussy cutting is when you cut all around the image that you've stamped or that you see in a magazine. Okay, guys. <sighs> I'm going to do a video hopefully on Sunday. Demonstrating something, doing something, but look forward to it. I haven't figured out what exactly it's going to be. How about I finish that mini album that I started like two years ago? That would be great, right? We shall see, though. Until then, bye guys.